happening right mm. now. Yeah. <laughs> Hi everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here. Um, this is my significant other, my hubs, H. I call him H because his full name, Hjalmar, is ridiculous to, you know, to pronounce sometimes. Um, I wanted to talk about being really busy this holiday season, being really busy in the winter. We have three kids, right? We have three children. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. There's three of them. <laughs> pretty sure there's three of them. And one of the things I know that's really challenging for a lot of people, a lot of parents, is that even though the seasons change and you're thinking, oh, you know, this isn't going to be that bad, you always seem to get busier. Busier, busier, busier. Right? Very busy. Right. So how do you how do you handle busy holiday season, busy? Because what do you like to do in the winter? What are your favorite winter activities? Putting some omega fatty acids on the table. Omega omega fatty acids. And omega through yeah those yeah, things. Yeah yeah omega. What do you what are how do you how do you put omegas um, on the table? Cross a few eyes. <laughs> you cross eyes. Yeah. So so for people who are not familiar with your <clears throat> verbiage on that, uh, we go walk on some water. Walk and uh, hard water, right? Frozen yeah. water. Rough talk some fish up. <laughs> walleye fishing. <laughs> you go fishing for some walleyes. Uh, and other things. Yeah. Trout. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. So, um, so that gets busy, right? To try and do all that ice fishing and, and fit that in with everything else. How do you how do you plan for that? Um you know, warm clothes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean, excellent. Excellent that you're going to dress warm and be prepared for the weather. Question, what's the coldest that you've ever gone ice fishing in? What's the coldest weather? Oh, probably 30 below. 30 maybe? below. Probably. 30 below. What was the wind chill? Oh, probably. I have no idea. I was up near Canada. Yeah. So just <laughs> guess. Just estimate. Guesstimate what the wind chill would be. If it's 30 below temperature, and there's wind, right? That's not with no wind. Uh, maybe 50. Oh, 50. Somewhere in there. 50 below wind chill. Mm -hmm. yeah, you have to hide in the pine trees. It burns a lot of energy. You get out there in the cold, so you gotta hide in the pines. It's warmer in there. It's warmer in the in the pine trees. That's good to know. Yeah, I'll remember that. For of course, the fishing isn't very good in the pine trees. Oh, so where do you do the fishing then? If you're gonna put the <laughs> omegas on the table? Well, you know, you can set some traps and watch them. Oh, you set the traps and watch them. I see. I see. So, uh, <laughs> great. <laughs> This is a very good conversation. It is a good conversation. Well, so one of the things is uh, you like to go up and go hunting and fishing. You do a lot of hunting and fishing. And that makes it a different schedule, especially with three kids. So it gets to be really busy to, for all these activities. So sometimes we all go fishing together, right? Yeah, Zen goes with us a lot and the dog. Yep. And we do a lot of fishing in the ice in the winter. So we're going to be probably doing stuff on that. Um but it's also a really great way to just kind of get away and get out of nature, right? I think I like to think of, you know, busy holiday season. There's always something going on. There's always a place you can be or an event going on that you could be at. And one of the things I like about you going ice fishing and that when we go with you is that we get away from all of that, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, well, it's a good time. Kids have endless little games out there. Yes. Playing in the snow. Building snowmen. Yeah. All that stuff. They it's only a good place to be. Occasionally. Well, they always get soaked, so extra gloves and everything. Yes. They, yeah. 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 They always get soaked. If somebody's boot always goes through the ice, the ice fishing hole. Yeah. 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 Good and time. we get to, and then we eat what we catch when we catch the right things, right? Yeah. Yeah, which I'm glad you know what they are. I don't really know what they are. Well, we, yeah. We... Yeah. Yeah. So, in looking at nutrition and, and spending time catching your food and everything else, how much protein is in um, a, a walleye? That's your department? Well, I'd like, 
in a like because if so let me rephrase that so if you catch catch a walleye a big walleye a big walter how many servings is one walter whoa can i use your oh she have your yellow paper sure. like like where is it two medium-sized walleyes that feed us for dinner you know all five of us. Yeah, like 18 inches or somewhere yeah. in there, you know. Those yeah. are nice, nice, good sizes for the pan. Yes. Yeah. So that's a, that's a day well spent then. Yeah. And we usually come home with more than one walleye, right? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, the, the, so this is one of the things I like to just kind of put out there. If you guys have not been ice fishing, you should try ice fishing because it's fun. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not a super outdoorsy gal. December's the best. December is the best. Why is December the catch best? Catch a load of crappies. Catch some... Crappies? You know, they're easy. They're all over. They're easier to catch than walleyes. Okay. Yeah. We eat those all the time. Yeah. I just think it's funny that they're called crappies. They're goodies. <laughs> In my belly. <laughs> they are good. You are a really yeah. good cook. So all we're right. going to do... I'm going to do a video where we where we do ice fishing because I think this is fun, and it's good protein, and it's good omegas, right? It's good omegas. And then I'm gonna show everybody how you cook the fish really good, because it's a secret. But I'm gonna show everybody. You, it's, it's a secret, it's delicious. Okay, okay. This if is... I let you show everybody. Oh. <laughs> Gosh, <I don't> worry. <laughs> All right, but this is what we're doing on a Friday night. We're just hanging out. We're just, this is, we're super, we're super cool. Don't worry about it, it's, it's good. We're very popular. <laughs> just hanging out on the couch. On a Friday, talking about fishing. Yeah, all right. That's all. That's all we got. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everybody, what? Um, his secret sauce. Yes, KB. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's it's a secret what he cooks the fish in to make it so good. It is. It is. It's really good though, <laughs> and it's gluten free. He does the gluten free because we're all gluten free. Mm -hmm. All right. Everybody have a great Friday night and a great, great start to your weekend. And we'll talk to you later.